Hello and welcome to channel UTM. Uh, this is a tutorial based research channel and um, basically um, I'm here to show you the results that I get from looking at these planetary and uh, these planetary photographs of our solar system um, and we're showing you the results of the research i'll show you the research um in action uh, and basically it's to teach you and show you how to look at these images um, uh, and how to extract the the information from them okay um if you are new to this channel please go and look at the uh the other videos because there's lots of information in there about tools and the process or the method which i follow anyway so uh, and some very interesting results okay so for those of you who are um sorry about that familiar with um the site so far um i thought i would uh change uh, get a different perspective on um some stuff so we're going to be looking at some curiosity um, Mars surface photographs um, and what we'll be doing is um, applying the same methods and I will be looking showing you what to look for what doesn't look right um, and what isn't right um, in these images Okie doke, so I always show you these, um, and that's terrible as far as I'm concerned, but there we go. Right, okay, this one, there is some information here and stuff. Um, yeah, where are we? Um, it's presented in false colour to emphasise differences among materials, rocks and soils. And where is it said? Um, you don't get a lot of information about these, but it's somewhere about the size of a football field. I can't read it, but anyway, like um, we, as always, oh look, look, which has a diameter about the length of a football field. Okay, right. So we have to take into consideration that the. Uh, the cameras they are using it's like as if you see um gopro footage and stuff it, it it distorts everything everything looks much much further away and so on and so forth so okay let's start with this one now i'm not going to go um too in depth with uh with this um because there's some other stuff I want to show you. Unfortunately, there was uh, another, a third image I wanted to show you, which I've got to rework because I had some corrupt saves. And that's all to do with the size of the files I was using. I had a lot of big files open and the saves were corrupt, so I lost all the work. But I will be doing that in sort of like a, a part two of this, or I'll just do a, a completely fresh version. So, okay, this is diameter, size of a, a football field, and it really doesn't look like it at all. Um, but this is this is how the cameras um, take the images. Um, so what I was talking about, the things that don't look right, um, and uh, this isn't very anomalistic. Um, it is, but it is a difficult one, and I don't want to. I want to keep people uh, moving with this. So straight away, um, it doesn't look <clears throat> the size that they're they're describing, and um, straight away this this looks completely wrong to me. These are my observations, by the way. So if the computer seems a little bit slow, then it is. This is a small image, but I've been I've had it open. It's been doing stuff, so it's probably still catching up with things. 
Um, I don't understand computers. Okay, so if we look at this, um, this really doesn't look right. Again, this is just my observation. Um, and things just don't look right where this touches the rocks and stuff and I will be explaining this these images um, that we see um, these surface images are heavily heavily edited and I'll demonstrate that in the in the next image um, and discuss the artifacts as well because there's um, it's very strange it's about the scale of this stuff as well um, I've heard it mentioned I think I've mentioned it to one of the other sites that features this stuff uh, this stuff um, greatly um, really good stuff um, so anyway right this is my observation this does not look um, correct to me and another thing with that like I've mentioned with um, the the, the uh, pictures taken from orbit is the the dark light the, the the contrast between things and you know the the camouflage element of 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 that um, <clears throat> the edges of cliffs and craters um, which feature in these images quite heavily especially the um, like the ridge lines um, where beyond the ridge line it falls into the into the background um, and the uh, the transition from the ridge line to the background is very interesting indeed so let's I'm just going to quickly show you it's a black and white image um, just stick a little bit of contrast in there um, I can't remember if I've done any work on this it gets so confusing and I mean there's hundreds and hundreds of files I've got um, and also in the in the comments now because there's a number of videos it's getting very confusing so apologies if I do miss something um, But I try, try and um, try and answer everything. So I think this was originally done in in Photoshop, um, and I've applied the same methods to to rocks and things because there seems to be on these Mars photographs a huge amount of detail, which has been airbrushed out or blurred out um, on the rocks and stuff. They're the strangest rocks I've ever seen. I mean, um, they do talk about rocks and stuff. Uh, the they're uh, they're very uh, fractured or or um, uh, which it's like it's like flake flake like they look they look like they've been stacked and things. And there is a name for it, but I haven't done my research, so um, I won't speak too much about it. Okay, so there are bits and bobs which um, only on close inspection, this is pixelating now, you can start making out unusual shapes and forms. Um, but this is not a very large file. The reason I don't use these too much is because unfortunately the computers I use can't handle the file size and it gets very, very confused. Um, and uh, it's hard work basically just having a look to see if there's anything we can have a quick play with I 
So hopefully what I'm going to show you with this is um, even those, is, I mean, the images are great. They look brilliant. Um, but there is so much in them to, uh, to look at. It's, uh, it's amazing and very, very confusing as well. Let's just have a quick look at that. Now, this could be just the way I look at stuff. Um, I don't know. But it seems to be um, in more or less every every image. So, if you don't know what I'm using or what I'm doing now, then please look at the other videos. It will explain the tools. Um, I'm not going to go too much into it now um, because I don't know how long this is going to take. Um, but here, not necessarily, it could be just a, a coincidence that this um, dark area here and the light area, what you tend to find happens is that, like I was talking about with dark and light, they're actually of the same piece. Um, they've just darkened it um, just to confuse the image, basically. So they're making false edges, um, stuff like that. If you are into this stuff, I think you probably know what I'm talking about. Um, but let's have a quick look here. Okay, so you can see here, I'll just blow it up. I forget about people with phones and stuff and things. So you can see that's pixelated now. 1.3. It. I would sooner work on this about two and a half gig, but at the moment I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna push it. So this here. You can see. That, that actually looks part of, the lighter area which in the picture, when you look at it, looks like the edge. <clears throat> and this area here swoops down behind. This is stuff you've got to look for. You're not going to see it in... Uh, these images always come in very large anyway, so you think you're in for a treat, but you do have to enlarge them to get in close, which I've discussed. Um, so what you can see happening is this area which let me see um, let's just move over here so you can see what's happening here the ridge line is coming round it's going round like that and this is the area we're looking at. Okay. Remember, this is pixelated. It wouldn't be like this generally when um, I'm trying to find to pull out detail and things. But when uh, when we uh, when we pull back out the image then uh, it'll make more sense. See I'm having to it's quite a high whoops I'm not sure when I'm going to put this video out, so it might be in between the Dion stuff that uh, we've been looking at, and I think it will be after, because there's one that I think you would have seen by now, just explaining 
you know, more about viewing these images and, and, and trying to get your head around them. I think I use some um, earth images and just manipulate them a bit just to try and get a comparison with uh, the stuff that they're, they're doing. It's like I say, it's learning about how these images are put together, which is uh, important to uh, how you decipher what, what we're looking at. It's a little bit fiddly, that. Right? You need to tell me how you uh, you understand what I'm doing, and you can see what is going on. See here, you can see this now in it. I'm just working in the dark areas, but obviously you can apply the method which I've shown you to the light method and it, it's just a vice versa type sort of thing. So what you'll eventually do is blend the whole image into one. It might look very strange, um, but it would be more representative of what is actually going on in the image. This is what the research tells me anyway. So we can see this here. And it looks completely attached to the dark side of the, the dark side of the image. Whereas in the picture here, it's presented as a ridge line. So I don't know, I don't, you know, at the end of the day, I don't know what that means. I'm purely showing you what I'm finding. Um, so, in fact, I'll say it now before we get on to the, on to the next one. There's, um, and people do talk about this. Um, and uh, what you find with, um, so you get these, these landscape images, um, you know, and for uh, first glance, they look like, you know, just rubble and rocks and things lying around, etc, uh, etc. Cetera, et cetera. But the closer you get into it, um, and the more you pull out, that the, the the rock takes on a very strange appearance, um, almost as if, and the scale of it doesn't seem, because what we talk about in the in the other images is the sheer scale of stuff, how massive it is. Um, but when you get down to these surface photographs. Um, the scale of things seems to seems to change. The detail and the sort of increases of the stuff we're looking at is 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 high. I mean, it looks very um, mechanical, and some of it almost looks, you know, skeleton-like, like a like a framework. And then the 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 workings of whatever this framework is holding is popping through so so like i said before i'm just blasting over to see if you know pop the highlights and uh see if we can reveal anything else also gives you a route to follow 
Um, I have done work here, you can see. And like I always say, you know, pause these images and, and take it in yourself and stuff. Um, so you can see the, the detail coming through and the mechanical looking element to it. The stuff up here. And if you search these images, uh, they're literally, not all of them, obviously, strewn with uh, this mechanical looking stuff. But it's on a very, seems to be on a very small scale. It does when I'm looking at this picture because the, the size of a football field uh, just doesn't seem correct to me. It seems a lot smaller. But... It's just the way I'm perceiving it, and it's just me being dubious about the information that they're giving us. So, there's all that to take into account as well. So this is very unusual. You can see... Oh, excuse me. So back to this point being... Um, the edges and various things are not as they not as they seem. So there's this rock as well, this innocent looking rock. I don't know what's on here. And you can say it's just me seeing things. But I'm not seeing sp specific things. They seem mechanical. And this stuff seems to be all over the place, you know, suggesting, suggesting that it... Um, has been blown around, I, I, I don't know, you know, uh, blown up of sorts. I don't want to put too many ideas into your head because it's, I'm trying to just keep everything to, you know, your your personal visual interpretation of what we're looking at. So you can see unusual shapes. And we're talking square square edges and, and all sorts of stuff. You know, if you follow this stuff, you've seen loads of it. But it's how um, it's all over the place. So you probably say, you know, what the bloody hell is he going on about? Um, this is something which uh, the DPI needs to be a lot, lot higher, so we can get in there. But hopefully, I can demonstrate a little bit more on the on the uh, the other one. Um, See if there's anything else. It's all around here as well. All this stuff, it looks like it was something and it's been sort of flattened and, and strewn around. So this is un, unusual as well. And like I was uh, discussing with someone yesterday, about being very careful not to pull um, your uh, <laughs> contrast and brightness and stuff too much. Um, 
just have a play with the image and see what it's saying to you because you can lose stuff quite easily um, and the good thing with this method, method is uh, that it's specific to you can concentrate on individual areas um, see this is weird as well And this stuff will slowly um, I'm just showing you the beginnings here if you are new um, there is a number of processes to go through to bring out the detailing so sorry if you're not seeing uh, you know animals and heads and, and stuff like that uh, this isn't I will be showing you some very interesting stuff and that's what I was working on yesterday but I lost all the work um, and in the title I'm gonna have to write something which uh, well it's what it looks like to me and also there's a recap on something that came out a few years ago um, showing that it's not what has been said it is definitely something But the more you open the image up, the more information you get. So, uh, you know, you can you can label it a bit better. I still don't know what it is, but it's not what it was originally disclosed as. So we were talking about this edge. I need to do this to to show you uh, the next stage and then we'll move on to the next one so if I just pop a few little areas look The more of these uh, surface uh, images that I'm going to show you, the more you'll uh, you'll understand. I would have done this in colour, but it's the only one. It's the previous one that I had. Take it. I mean, these totally look like rocks, but when you work on them, you know, people say, "Oh, you're just." You know, interpret well, presuming it is something. But I'm just working with the tools and uh, seeing what they give me. And it's so weird as well because there's familiar shapes which we see in the orbiter images, and it just doesn't make any sense. I will get closer and I will find out some more information and uh, the past few videos um, learnt a lot there's been some good stuff learnt so this is the um, the ridge so I'm keeping an eye on my clock here so one of the parts of the process we use is uh, another one of these uh, dodge and burn one makes it lighter one makes it darker so i'm just going to go in with the burn you can darken the um, white areas but for sake of demo hopefully we can get away with it just reduce that a little bit Uh, if I was doing this properly to present a whole image, um, I would be doing the whole image, <clears throat> but it's very, the computer does not like it. <clears throat> so 
So we'll quickly do this bit um, to see if I'm right because I don't know. I just looked at it and it looked a bit odd to me. So we'll see if what I've just been telling you uh, works. It might not. I wouldn't be doing this as quick as uh, it's very easy to to make a mess of the image uh, which will just completely confuse but it's confusing enough as it is um, you need to get used to looking at this stuff Now you can start seeing things appear in what was the very light area. And it's a case of just working in with these tools. You go dark, you get light, dark light, stuff like that. Um, but it's all explained. And I will be doing the uh, Burn and Dodge Tools tutorial um, demonstrating that but you can experiment hugely with this stuff and you know do it the way you feel is uh, good for you but unfortunately what I found over the years is <clears throat> the longest <laughs> the longest way around the slowest way around uh, seems to you're able to retrieve <coughs> excuse me um, the most amount of detail and information so but I'm experimenting as well there are people doing this I think uh, I've got three people now doing this with uh, and getting good results which is brilliant I never thought that would happen. So thanks for giving it a go, guys. Brilliant. So look at this rock now. What is happening to this rock? So there's more details coming off here. I'll quickly go back in there. That we couldn't see before. Very pixelated. So I didn't really know what I was going to, well, I sort of knew what I was going to um, show you, but I wasn't really uh, planning on doing this little section here so you just I just do do what happens because the image hasn't been um, touched very much now when I was talking about God, I just had a drink as well. When I was talking about uh, the scale of stuff, there are other images I've got, and uh, it tells you how close you are. Um, and so we're seeing stuff like this. So it means it's really small. But it looks um, like bits of machinery. It looks manufactured. It looks very technical. So I don't know what to what to say about that. You know, is the, is there something
really little making this stuff and it isn't quite so much wreckage um, or is it just the the technical gubbins of whatever um, has been destroyed and, and lying around I mean it's they're just simple sort of um, ideas from the information that the images give you so I try and keep it as simple as possible but you can see very strange stuff and see how this is part of this so here we go now what I've just shown you this is the raw image it's um, it's very low quality but you can now start seeing there's a definite color break between these two areas but when we look at it here they're starting to become part of each other this stuff extends everywhere spoke about working in shadows and stuff and these images are quite I mean, look, look at this I hope you can hear me Just doing this quick, pulling it hard. Um, just be careful what I'm saying. I'm a bit dodgy. Right, but look at look at this. What is what is this stuff? And like I was talking about, the, the light and dark in this area happens on these ridge lines as well, which I'm going to demonstrate in the next one, in the next photograph. So, I don't know, I don't know what, I don't know what to say, I mean this looks... when you start looking at the picture as a whole you yeah, obviously you have to go through and you have to do this work so they're they're my observations so this gives us a starting point for uh, looking at these images I mean you wouldn't know that there's anything going on there Apart from this caught my eye. Detraction, you know, it's 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 fooling the eye. This it's crazy. Unless I'm completely bog eyed and looking at everything wrong. But um you know. Okay, right, so we are going to be looking at this one next, and I can't remember, Dingo Gap, why I had this image. I think someone mentioned it. Um, th no, that was it. It was the, the um, curiosity was going somewhere, and it went through an area called Dingo Gap. So, and I was interested to find out what the, 
the surface was like. So this is how this image came around. They're very large images, they come in, but they're quite big. Um, very little information. Um, but this as well, I'm not going to click on this, but you can see it's got um, some measurements to give you an idea of how, how big this is. Um, the dune so they're drawing your attention to this sand dune um, and we're 35 meters away and it's about three feet high one meter okay so this is the raw image and um, you notice at the bottom there's going to be a little thing happen here and that's me just taking a break so I'll be back okay so taking what I showed you in the first one uh, we'll have a look around sorry if this does get a little bit slow but it's the computer um, I'm just going to point out a few things and then we'll have a look, a closer look. Okay, this area here, especially that. Now I was talking about dark and light. Um, And it doesn't just, I've actually done a bit of work. Have I done a bit of work on that? Is this the raw image, I think? Um, not sure. But anyway, this is, this is black. Like these are black as well. And they simply just look like rocks. Like here. They're all over the place. Take note of the shadows. Um, so you can see this is, it's got a low DPI. It's a feature which immediately sticks out. This is what a lot of people would uh, concentrate on. Um, and I do as well. I have done some work on this by the looks of it. Also, these background areas as well. All this as well. We'll get into more detail in a minute. So, ooh. So straight away, immediately, um, and in I think in uh, it was one of the Dione images where they featured an inset of the the um, the photograph. And again with this, like here, where they're pointing out the size of the sand dune and stuff, and I don't really know why. There's no explanation to why they're featuring it it's just it just simply seems like a, a scale just to give you some scale so it does not look right to me One of the things, especially uh, if you take um, artwork into account, um, regards if, if something is light or dark, take a, um, a figure standing 
in front of you, a photograph of, of someone, there's always a very, very thin white line surrounding it, no matter if they're wearing, wearing white um, or dark clothes. Um, there is a, it's like a tiny little highlight which um, is on the edge of things and these don't seem to have them. Um, and it happens, uh, it's a natural, a natural thing. Um, look into it. And that's what makes this look totally weird. I'm not saying that that is the reason, but they're just elements of stuff you have to take into account. Doesn't look right to me. I haven't tried to pull this to see if there's anything behind it. I don't, if I remember right, and won't have much look, uh, luck doing that because I think it's artwork itself. So it's going to block out anything on the back. It's not like looking at the um, the blurring and stuff that we see where we can pull information out out of the uh, the image. So just to highlight this even more, um, these. And there's quite a few things like this, which I'll point out on ridge lines as well, where it doesn't look like it has a back to it. There's no, there's nothing. So you could say oh, it's down to a poor quality image, but these aren't meant to be poor quality. And they don't describe these things, you know. There's, you can clearly see this doesn't have a, a back to it. And it was like I was talking about the transition from background to these foreground images. Um, it just doesn't look right. I hope you can see that. Tell me what you think. Um, but it's very strange looking. The more you study these images, the stranger this stuff looks. And I'm not presuming anything, you know, is, is car parts or, or, you know, kitchen sinks or anything like that. It's I take it on the value of, you know, this is this is a, a rocky landscape and that's what we've been told we're looking at. So if I find anything unusual, then uh, it's, uh, well, you take it from there, don't you? this to me I can see a definite line through here and you'll notice in areas there are like small little arches and things which seem to follow these lines through see this here Take note of the background as well. This is a good example. It's just cut off. But you can see it extending into the background. This is literally being cut off. You see? Okay, let's have a look at um, a larger image of the same place, uh, the same photograph, obviously. I've pulled the saturation a bit. Um, and here we 
go. Sorry about the jerkiness of the image, I can't do a lot about it, it's the program. Um, but it is much larger, it's... Uh, So this clearly looks odd. So when I find something odd, I like having a look around it to see if we can find it. I don't know how much work I've done on this. Um, but this line I was talking about, you see it running through here. ends about here Let's have a look at the end See the tool lagging there. This is the problem I get. And again, apply the same method, process, tools. To these images, same as the, uh, the moon and planet ones. And give it time, just observe the image. So, here, like these arch areas again. starting to look more and more mechanical. So hopefully I've done enough to this for you to get an idea because it's going to, it will take us hours to do this. Especially with the, uh, the speed of the processing at the moment. So there's definitely something going on here. Like I said before, <clears throat> if there are any um, geologists uh, watching, please let me know what you think about this.
Okay, so this strange thing here. There's something running from here. There's something here. It, it, it's all over the place. It looks mechanical. Um, but it looks mashed up. It looks, you know, defunct. For those of you who have been watching the, the other videos and how we talk about um, finding familiar um, structural shapes and stuff, look at that. You'll know what I'm talking about. And this is what is so strange about these uh, these images. Photos. See that? How it's lagging. Also, I was explaining to someone as well, if you're doing it on your own, you're not showing anyone stuff then you can be as heavy handed as as you like but you will lose information and uh, you have to keep this uh, keep the image still flowing just bring out the uh, the details so what is going on here can see the more I work on this image the more this stuff is it's all over the place pull back a bit what is it what's this I haven't looked at these pictures for years and uh, They are strange. So this area here is probably check it I think this image is all we've spoken about they're made up of uh, strips what's that look All this will have stuff in it. So I burn mid tones. Let's have a look. Another pass. I like to do these uh, gradually so you can see stuff developing. If you hit it too hard, you'll lose it. 
speed or it just simply might lose, miss something. What is going on? So what we were initially explaining was um, When you see a, a, a light against the dark, it doesn't necessarily mean that that is what it is. It doesn't mean that shadows are shadows. Um, foreground can be part of background and so on. And hopefully me showing you this at the moment is showing you that that is the case. I did make a crop of this image to show you the um, the ridge line and the background differences. So we'll we'll finish on that. Look, this stuff is everywhere. See this, it looks like, you know, like a, like a cover, a hole, you know. It doesn't appear to have any back on it, but it's hollow. So there's obviously depth to in that shadow. Where's the back of it? You can see this stuff carrying on through here. And to pull that out, I'd have to reduce that because I want to do it as soft as possible. But I won't for uh, demonstration purposes. And like I did on the, the first image, you can see how it extends into what is supposedly um, the sky line or the ridge line, or however you would like to call it. All this as well, I believe would be structures. You know, I could do a six parter on this easy. But the basis of this video is to <clears throat> learn about what you're, I suppose you're not looking at really. And what is really there. I'm just trying to decipher it when you look at an image. And like I said before as well, it doesn't. You, there's a lot of the time where um, you can't see anything, and it's a case of going in with the tools and seeing what the the tools uh, can reveal. And with the few years that I've been doing this, um, it says to me that uh, pretty much every image is going to be hiding something now 
Now, if you do follow this sort of stuff, especially the, um, the curiosity and the the rovers stuff, um, I'm going to make a very bold statement, and I will back it up, but not on this video. That because of the stuff we're finding here which is so unusual, I believe that we are on Mars. But I don't believe where they say the rovers are uh, is true. <clears throat> and I can pretty much sort of leave it at that. Um, because when I look at traverse maps, it's telling me something completely different, which I will show you. So anyway, hopefully that's got your curiosity going. So looking at that area, or not, just saw something up here. bits and bobs that immediately stand out. What am I on? Okay, no wonder. Again, stuff everywhere. Even looking at this close-up, gravel and this is the weird thing about scale it really makes you think what is going on and a lot of this stuff looks like it's actually part of the ground it's like a an eroded um, the surface is eroded and it's sort of semi exposing something which is which is un, un, underneath it or this stuff is just debris basically okay let's get to this area weird stuff here. Yeah. Apologies to people who are using phones. It's really difficult for me to. Well, it's not. It's just the nature of the work I'm doing. I have to see what I'm doing, and when I'm really close in, especially on these images, it's maybe it looks make make some sense on your phone. Um, but do do check it out on a larger screen. So if we go back to that one quickly, which was the raw image. And we can see this area here. We're gonna go to a black and white version. Now if we go, see, look at this. That's not right. And we look at this area. Remind you. This is the same area. This is why I'm talking about shadows and stuff and things um, 
and you know we we expect everything to be right um the correct representation it's a photograph it shouldn't be but when you look into the images they are edited completely edited done quite a lot of work on this so you can start seeing what I'm talking about all this very mechanical very skeletal looking but that area I'll go back again this area here little sandbank which is false here we go that's the same area with my editing done on it it's completely different that thing is not actually there although this area here but it's been extended up here there's a false sandbank which is actually containing this strange mechanical structures which seem to cover the whole surface Very little work on this area, but there are things here. So that rock was clearly hiding something. Let's just go back and have a look at those again. I don't know what it is. Uh, I haven't worked on this, but there's something inside these shadows which originally look sort of like rocks which don't have any backs on them. If you look at the line of the sand dune through here, you can see the top of this thing extends into and over. That's probably a little bit heavy. for demonstration so you can see there's a, you spend weeks on this image what I'd ultimately like to show you is moving through the whole image because yeah you see it's doing its job but oh god blimey where are we going I don't know what happened there sorry there's something going on you can see it here there's just too much to look at too much to question
Okay, let's just go to this end. It's difficult to really show you, but the stuff I've been discussing is all over here, especially this background area. You can see how it extends. To what I presume is uh, this is the problem with the tools you're seeing. Um, but this is just for demonstration purposes. I'd work on the whole area as a whole. Let's see. Okay. If this hasn't confused you, then uh, I'm not doing my job properly. No, I'm only, I'm only joking. it's very strange right let's have a quick now where are we I think this area here I did a quick crop just to demonstrate the um the ridge line. Um, it's very messy, but it's just to show you. So oh, that's been worked on, that hasn't. Um, you can see where it's starting to extend into the into the background. Obviously more processes will have to be applied to this to pull out the, the image and I'll show you when I've, uh, when I've done them. If I get a chance, it's just everything takes so long. So we can see what I was talking about, like these arched areas which look hollow and they don't have any backs on them. And what I'm doing here is revealing the rest of it. You can see it. And it's all the way through. turning into very structural looking stuff but little but it's everywhere extends everywhere right so I hope you found that interesting especially the people who are following the channel and trying to understand these images It's, um, we need to understand them. Else you won't be able to see what is going on. It's as simple as that. Let's see, look at that. That is the ridge line. Look how it extends.
So there we go. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got something out of this. Um, any other research channels, by the way, who may be uh, having a gander, we all, we all have a look at everyone. So, um, and you're down, then uh, give us a mention, it'll be cool. We need to get this information out there and uh, that's what it's all about at the end of the day. Um, so, cheers to everyone. Thanks very much and uh, I will see you soon.